Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and welcome to your daily live commentaries today, playing some more Rise of the Triad. Of course, this game just came out, so I've been playing it quite a bit, trying to get the hangs of it, and what a lucky spawn here, spawning right by the bazooka, hoping to lay some fire down on everybody in this match before they can do some any real damage. Let's actually just get into the thick of this and just start tearing some people up. There we go, there's another kill. Let's get some more bazooka ammo before somebody else takes it from me and just dominate this match. Definitely you need explosive weapons like the bazooka to be able to do anything in this game. And I really suggest when you play this game, learn where weapons like this spawn. Because if you don't know where a weapon like this spawns, you have no hopes of using it and really no hope of winning the game. Because this pistol that I'm holding right here is one of the worst weapons you will ever use in a game. Even at point blank range, you can miss some insanely easy shots and I don't know what just happened I got caught in a knife animation and there's still a little quirks in this game that need to be ironed out but so far nothing too awful game breaking I've noticed in this game it's just simple and when the simpler something is the less chance there is to screw everything up or you know kill yourself like I'm doing this weapon right here I forget what it's called I think it's the firebomb I think is what it's called, is pretty much the, I think is the best weapon in the game. It is just a beast of a gun. And I fell, I did not mean to fall, I wanted to stay up there, so she's got a fire wall, which is not a weapon I want to fight right now without an explosive option. There we go, there's explosive power. And then I kill myself. That's okay. That's okay, but yeah. Explosive weapons, you need to know where they are, how to get them. Weapons like this, the firewall right here. No, they traded it. This is the uh, split missile, I think is what it's called. You can split it into two missiles. I think is what, I think that's pretty much a self-explanatory name, the split missile. And I think they uh, are also heat seekers. Someone got the dog power up. It sounds like you can turn into a dog, as you might have seen in my last video. There's a kill. Okay, now I have the machine gun, the SMG, the MP40. Okay, push him away from that. That's mine, not yours. Explosives are for me. I have kind of found it to be very beneficial. Just kind of patrol this area up here and stay by this bazooka. The bazooka is a really good weapon to kind of keep control of on this map. I mean, it's not the best weapon on the map, but it's definitely a good weapon to keep control of. And as long as you're not killing yourself constantly, like I seem to be doing, really damaging myself. Now I'm out of explosive ammunition, explosive weaponry. Let's see if the firebomb is up here. Yes, it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for not dying right there. And thank you again for not dying right there. Okay. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There's a... Oh, he did he just spawn there? It looked like he just kind of spawned there. I kind of feel sorry for him right there. Fire that last shot. Pick up the firewall. Nope, this is mine. You can have the firewall. But I think I did light somebody on fire and finish them off. There is asbestos armor that they said it makes you immune to fire, but I don't know if it means it means you're immune to fire weapons, which I highly doubt. I think you'll still take direct damage, maybe at a reduced rate. I'm not positive because I haven't really seen that much stuff. But um, it, I think it makes you immune to the afterburn effects, I think is what it does. Come here. Come here. You do have a knife. It's pretty much junk, but I got the last pistol kill right there. These matches are really quick. They're really fun. Lots of stuff to go on in this. I really, really... I'm having fun with this game. This game's not perfect. I am going to do a little video where I kind of sort of go over some stuff or I'm thinking about doing that, but I would be lying if I said I'm not having fun. I might have said that in my last video, but I'm repeating it here. So, there you go. That's Rise of the Triad, another match if you're interested in it. It's definitely a neat little title. It's only 15 bucks. It's cheap. And if you like this video, share it, favorite, like it, subscribe it, all that good stuff. You know, that stuff I need to kind of say. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt. And I was hoping to get a kill there. I'll see you next time. Hey, there's the kill. And there's the death. See you later, everybody.